in this tutorial we are going to learn about switch case statement see guys switch case statement is basically used for decision making like if statement and the syntax of switch case goes like this switch within parenthesis we people are supposed to type the decision variable upon which we are going to take the decisions then case label 1 label 1 means any value if uh, value of this decision variable is equal to this label 1 then these statements would be executed each case block should be terminated with the break statement case label 2 that means if the value of the decision variable happens to be this value label 2 then again it should be with break statement so we can use as many case uh, as we want <coughs> and lastly we use default default means when none of the above any cases they come out to be true then control is bound to go to default statement like in if else if letter the last else statement works that means none of the above conditions got true so I am going to explain this with the help of an example I am going to include a couple of header files ok then starting with main and a single character variable called city code we are going to get the value of the city code from the user <coughs> city code is equal to get care you might be knowing get care is used to read a single character from the keyboard now switch city underscore code ok case k that means if the value of the variable city code happens to be k what I want to print is Kurukshetra has an IT ok break statement then case suppose n printf suppose this is for New Delhi New Delhi has IID and suppose this is case P printf Pilani Pilani has bits <coughs> and default printf invalid city code ok this is end of the switch case block and get ch just to hold the screen and this is end of the main ok now see guys in this program what I want to do is the user should enter the value of the city code and if the value of the city code happens to be k the message Rukshetra has an IT should be printed on the screen case n that means if value of city code happens to be n then what we want is the message New Delhi has IIT should be printed and it should be of course followed by the break statement case p Pilani has bits this message should be printed on the screen and it should be followed by the break statement
OK and default. I'm going to give this command. Actually, what break statement does is takes the control out of the switch case block. OK. <clears throat> now, I'm going to execute this program. Execute. Compile and run. Save the program with any name you want. Okay. Uh, I'm going to increase the font. Okay. This is one. This was 28. This is it. Now, enter the city code. Suppose I happen to give it as K. It's giving the message. You did. And this time over. Suppose <coughs> I'm going to type P. See, this is the right message. Pilani has bits. So guys, uh, see, now we people are going to re-execute the program and this time over because we are dealing with only three city codes K, P and N. And if the user happens to give any city code like D, which is not in the cases it's going to the control is going to go to the default see and in default we have got the message printed invalid city code so again I repeat it the control will go to the default only and only if none of the above cases are true right so now I want to explain what is the importance of uh, what is the importance of this uh, break statement now, what I am going to do is, suppose I am going to remove this break statement in case K, right? Now see what will happen and you will be astonished to see the results. Compile and run. It's K. Oh, you must be surprised. It's giving two messages. Kurukshetra has an IT. New Delhi has, uh, Kurukshetra has an IT. New Delhi has I, I, IIT. Now you must be wondering why we are getting two results. See, when uh, the user gave the code K, the first condition was true, case K. It went, of course, definitely, it went into this case and Kurukshetra has an IT message was printed. But because we have removed break statement, it didn't come out of the switch case block. Right? So what happened? It entered into the next case. And that happens to be N. It won't be checking the condition. It will directly go into its statements. And that is why New Delhi has IIT message was getting printed. And see, uh, I have removed the break statement from, I have removed the break statement from the second case also. Now, see the result. K. See the result. Kurukshetra has NIT. New Delhi has I IIT. Pilani has bits. You might have guessed why this result is printing because uh, the value was K. Kurukshetra has an IT because it is not having the break statement. It went into the next case. New Delhi has IIT because it doesn't, it too doesn't have the break statement. It went into the next case. Pilani has bits. This message was printed. So this is the importance of the break statement. Break statement is used to take the control out of the switch case block. I hope you understood the concept of switch case statement. Thank you.